So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. We have two rectangles. One is shaded, one's not shaded. We have dimensions for these two rectangles. Uh, we're told that the figure is not drawn to scale, which typically is not that important. Um, the question says the figure shown the figure shows two rectangles. If a point within the figure is selected at random, what is the probability that the point is within the shaded region? So anytime I see the word probability on this test, it tells me that I want to have a fraction where the numerator is what I want and the denominator is what I have. So what do I want? I want my point to be in the shaded area, right? The area of the shaded region of this rectangle. Well, what is that area? That area is the area of the rectangle, which is 5 times 7, right? Length time width, so 35. But I have to subtract the area of the unshaded region, right? So 5 times 3, which is 15, so minus 15, which equals 20, right? So my numerator is 20. What's the area that I have? Well, the area that I have is a total, the total area for this entire shape, which really is just the 35, right? It is the 7 times 5 inches. Um, so hopefully that makes sense, right? If you were throwing a dart at this figure and you hoped for that dart to land in the shaded region, let's say here, you know that, first of all, you don't want it to be outside of here. So that gives you a bounds of this rectangle, which is 7 by 5 or 35 square inches. But also you don't want it to here. So you have to remove this portion, which is the 3 by 5 inches, which is 15 square inches. Um, so that's where the 20 comes from. Right, So that's where the numerator comes from for what we want. What do we have? Again, we look at, I just want it to be inside of here altogether. This is like my universe of possibilities is bound by the larger rectangle, and that's where the 35 comes from. So 20 divided by 35 can be simplified. We have a common factor, which is 5. 5 goes into 20 four times. 5 goes into 35 seven times. So our answer here is 4 sevenths. That's our probability.